Yeah. Yeah. Please let me. Please let me out. Please let me out. Please, please, please let me out of here. Please. Please help. What do you, what do you want? What do you want? Uh, uh, Mr. Neely, Mr. Neely. But you didn't think you'd end up here, did you? No. Tell me about yourself. You're a world-class hacker, maybe a first-rate analyst, or a greedy analyst. What is it? What is it? What is it you do, Mr. Neely? Please, okay? I will cooperate with you. I, I will tell you whatever you want, anything you want to know. I don't give a fuck what you know. I really don't. It means nothing to me. It's what you're worth. Apparently, it's a lot. You've made some powerful enemies, my friend. I, I'm sorry. Okay. I never meant to hurt anyone. No. Okay. I, I, just, I saw the numbers. They were off. The numbers. And I just... I just... We're off. Mm hmm You're gonna make me a rich man, Mr. Neely. Where was he? He was out. At home. You were at home? What are you doing at home? Eating popcorn, watching... Cartoon reruns? <laughs> Ridiculous. Really stupid. You're stupid. Stupid, Mr. Neely. And more. <clears throat> Just a warren. The collective are getting close to finding us. They have nothing to worry about for the moment. They only have one operative in Boston. You sure he's the only one? Yes. I got into their system last night. Will they send more? If they do, I'll know about it. We still have that apartment? Yes, sir. Send them a bad tip. Set up a meeting. Trap. I don't want to hear about him again. Nikita, can you set that up? I'll send some guys. Okay. So what do I do about this one? This one? Mr. Neely? Looks kind of cozy in there, actually, like a little rat. A little rat? That's what a whistleblower is, isn't it? A little rat? Give the rat some cheese. Coming right up.
Please. Please. Please, please don't kill me. I'll pay you way more than they will. Fastest I've seen. Let's check your work. Dead. Dead. Definitely dead. Dead. Maybe. How about now? On the target? Good. Very good. That's not so great. Yeah, it's not fatal. Fatal or not? Could distract you. Could take you out of the game even for a second. That could be the difference. Otherwise, good job. All right. Everybody, say hello to the newest member of the collective, Sam Alexander. <laughs> Welcome. Seek Cassus Precipus. May the privilege fall. That's not just a motto. That's code. Don't forget it. I won't. So, uh, when's my first assignment? Excuse me? Soon, or, uh, you know, because I could go right now. Good. Glad to hear it. You start in the office tomorrow. You still got a lot to learn about the organization. This is it. This place looks like shit. Hi. Hi, name? Sam Alexander. Do you have an appointment? Yes. With who? Dr. Cassis. Can I see your confirmation? Oh, yeah. Huh. I, um, I don't see you in the system. I'm new. Um. Is, uh, something wrong? Oh, hey, Sam. There you are. He's with me. First day. Welcome. Well, then, welcome to the collective. We'll make him a file later, but go ahead and activate his pen. Sorry, I didn't get you in the system yet. He scared her. All good. You're lucky you got your legs. Oh, while you're in here, um, make sure you wear your pin, because the doors have sensors and can read the microchip from inside. And here we got the control center. Each one of the controllers are the eyes and ears of every agent in the field. Door on the left. Hold on. There are seven guys on the other side of that door. Proceed with caution. Careful. There's an alarm. Let me just disarm it. All right. And this is where the collective decides which contracts to send up the chain. You'll start here. What, doing paperwork? We all start somewhere, Sam. Good luck. So you're the one that beat my time on the training course. You're a little old, no? I'm Robert. And that's Barbara. Not that you will, but if you need anything, we'd be happy to help. 
I'd be happy to help. Can you tell me how long I'll be staying in contracts? Field agents always start here. If you're desperate for some action, you can move to control. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't just leave my desk job so I could work another desk job. Then you'll put in the time like the rest of us. What's your background? <sighs> Worked for the DA. <laughs> oh. Really? So you're an attorney. I was, and then I got bored. I don't see how that translates into wet work. You watch enough guilty people walk free, and eventually you want to go out there and take care of them yourself. Mm. Very proactive. Look, I get that. But don't be so anxious to get out there. The training course is one thing, but the real world would eat you alive. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. But if we wait, we're going to miss our chance at getting Neely and all of his intel. Can't afford to lose you either. If we have the shot, we have to take it. Come on, you go. It's not Ben Laden. We're going to get another chance. Yes, Admiral. But if we wait, we'll miss our chance of getting Neely. <sighs> All right. Well, give us a day to verify the reports, get a schematic of the building, and I'll hook you up with a controller. No, there's no time. Because we don't know how soon until he auctions Neely. You know I'm right. But of course you are. It's a department building. With two elevators, two sets of stairs, and four escape routes. Can't be that easy. Miro hasn't been caught yet for a reason. Because I haven't tried yet. All right. You're too damn stubborn for this conversation to go anywhere. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you go in there. Not because I want to because I know you're going to do it anyway. Anything else? Yeah. Do you want anything special said at your funeral? You're not invited to my funeral. Oh, I, I wasn't coming anyway. So do we have a deal? Hey, Sam. You got a minute? Come in, Sam. Sit down. Take a look at that file. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Out loud, please. Okay. Miro Lundell. He's a notorious human trafficking kingpin. He's in bed with billionaires, politicians, law enforcement, you name it. Basically untouchable. So is he? Untouchable? No. Nobody's untouchable. If anything, it seems a little too easy. There's no special security protocols outside of a detail. I mean, at most, you're facing guards at the ground level and at the apartment. All right, so what would you do? Are you asking me if I want this? I'm asking for your thoughts. I'd go in at night, late at night, when the least civilians are around. It's an apartment building, so ground level guards would be less conspicuous. At lookouts, assessing who comes and goes. I'm somewhat of a master of disguise, so... Master of disguise, huh? 
Somewhat. Anyway, I walk right in without firing a shot. Okay, you're in the building now. What's next? Well, you need access to the elevator. Lucky for us, the controller could easily hack into it. Quick, clean, and simple. There would be guards in the hallway. I would keep my distance and uh, try and take them out before they engage. Be especially careful about the guards located outside the front door. It's where I'd put my toughest guys. It's all downhill from there. It's a good plan. On paper. What does your gut say? It's a trap. Field work is rarely simple. One has to be prepared to improvise. That kind of training takes time. Well, how can I learn when I'm stuck here doing contracts? Stuck? Sam, it's your first day. You want me on this assignment, don't you? I promise I can get it done. Go back to work.
Amazing you're alive. He wasn't there. Fuck. There were men waiting for me. Well, that means they're in our system. You're compromised. How can you let this happen? I would say it was Neely. He clearly has more intel on us than we realized. I'm gonna have to pull you out. No, not happening. Well, it's not safe anymore. We need Neely. Well, if he knows about you and he knows about all of our other agents, how are we gonna get him if he can see us coming? Then what do you suggest? It's pretty obvious to me that we need someone that's not in our system. And take it on the way. These are beautiful people, all of you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Yes, I really want to thank you for being here. It means so much to me, all of you. I want to give you all my love. I'm deep in my heart. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> thank you. Ah, yes. Mr. Lindell. Yes? We didn't get him. If this guy ruins the auction, it'll be your head. Your head. He won't. Get Nikita. Yes, sir. Nearly. Hey. Hey. This means that someone's coming to get me. Shut get up! Me. I'm just saying it sounds like someone's coming to get me. No one's coming to get you, you little fucking rat. You know why? Truth is, nobody cares. You're gonna be sold and you'll probably die. Like a little rat that you are. Oh, yeah? You know. Why are you so mad? See, you should be careful, Mr. Neely. I've been called a deranged sociopath. I don't know why. But I'll cut your fucking tongue out. Mr. Neely Appa Yeah, well, if I'm gonna die in the cage, the fuck does it matter anyway? I love you, huh? Neely. You called? Yeah. I want that collective asshole dead. 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 Okay. I'll send some more guys. Do it yourself. I want this done right. Happily. There's gonna be lots of bling. Gonna get a diamond ring. <laughs> I'm a rapper. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. Ah. things in a bag and get outside there's a car waiting to take you to the airport uh, is everything okay no now pack your bags w wait commercial or private private
Sir, your pin. Thank you. Are you Hugo? Who are you? I'm uh, Sam. Can I come in? Why haven't I seen you before? Liam sent me. I'm uh, new. You uh, gonna let me in or what? Grab the shit. Nice place. This way. Good things in here. I don't need guns. I got plenty here. Yeah, but I figured I'd be prepared anyways. What's that? It's disguise. Handbook said to bring one. On Miami Vice, what do you think? You don't need a grenade. It's never good. Fuck around and blow up the wrong shit. I use them a lot in training, so I'm just gonna figure it would be a... You heard what I said, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right, so when we started? Slow down. I don't know you. OK, what do you want to know? All right, I guess I can uh, just. <sighs> From New Jersey, I just got this pen three days ago, so I guess you could say this is my first assignment. And I used to work for the district attorney's office, and now I'm here. So no military, CIA, special ops background, nothing? No, I mean, I trained martial arts. <clears throat> I did karate. Karate? So you're useless to me. Listen, you clearly don't want me here, but I'm here. 
I'm not on the books, so Miro couldn't possibly know about me. So until I die, or Liam sends me home, I'm staying. We both want the same thing. I'm telling you, we do. You need me to take down Miro. Sick, Cassus, Rakipuos. Let's make him fall. Do you even know what that means? Yeah. Do you? I made up the fucking slogan. Oh. You and your yellow belt. Follow me. My bad. Where are we going? This way. Never seen this room. This is the war room. Liam and I have countless operations from here. Even toppling governments. Toppling governments? The CIA have a list of enemies that they consider untouchable. People like Miro. Liam and I got sick of ignoring the root of the problem. So we left and started the collective. Our targets think they are above the law. So we speak for the innocent, judge, jury, and executioner. And now we take down Miro. No. No. What about the apartment? I wasn't there for Miro. I was there to get Christopher Neely. He's our target. He's an analyst. He's leaked information about billionaires buying elections. Now, Miro has him hostage. He's planning to sell him to the highest bidder. That's 50 million? Really? He'll probably sell him for more than that. He pissed off a lot of people. OK, so why are we involved? Christopher is key to taking down the untouchables. All right, then. Let's go find him. It's not that easy. We don't know where he is. I read Miro's file. He would keep him close. He's constantly moving. He travels all over, hosting human auctions. And only untouchables get invited. Maybe we can find one. What are you doing? Uh, a little background research. Picked it up working for the DA. And this is the exact type of guy Miro would reach out to, George Lee. And he'd want revenge for Barry Vanderstrom's death. He'd pay about anything for it. And guess who's in town? I'm guessing the auction is somewhere around this area. Looks like we're going to the beach. What? Why not? Well, if Miro finds out about this, which he will, and you'll be made too. Yeah, but we have to try. I mean, capture this guy and then get the auction info out of him. Then one of Miro's clients goes missing and he knows it's not worth jeopardizing the mission. <sighs> what if the auction is tonight? You got a better idea? Give me your pen. What? Give it to me. Are you, uh, controlling for me? I'm making sure you don't die. Thanks. I'm gonna activate them. These are my eyes and ears. And when you get back, I'm gonna teach you the pistol puppet. The pistol puppet? Wear this. Uh, one more thing. I'm gonna need to borrow your car. I don't have one.
here. Give me your thing, baby. Do your thing. That's it. That is it. Yeah! Gosh, you're so hot, I should have brought two cameras. This is amazing. Look at you. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, do this like, whew, like that. Shooting from the hip. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Love it. You're so hot, you could bring my space back with these pictures. So what's your plan? I'm gonna get behind cover, take the guards out one at a time. No good. But it's clean. Right, so you shoot the first guy, they all notice, then what? I, I take them out. You take them out, and you've wasted time. So you want me to just show up and start shooting? It's called an ambush, and it works. That's it. Beautiful. Now, uh, can you do the thing where you turn around and, like, look over your shoulder? Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, down from your knees. I like it. Look at you. You're a pro. Wow. Wow. Walk on to the beach, then draw. Stay in here. Pistols are only good from a certain distance. I'm going to get behind cover. I'm going to take out the guards one at a time. Not accurately. Yeah, I'm here. What was that? Flip him over. Oh, oh God, please don't kill me. They're so bad. Shut up, Help shut up, me. shut up. You understand? Need to hurry. Miro Lundell. You know him? All right. Okay. Ah. Shh. I know you're here for the auction. What time is it? Auction? Ah. What time is it? I don't know. Oh. See that? That's how you're going to look if you lie to me one more time. Like Saturday. Saturday. What time? Six. Which six? Six a.m., six in the morning. Please don't hurt me. OK, good. Where is it? I, I don't know, I promise, I swear, I don't know. They, they don't send the address till, till an hour before. Just aim your camera so I can see into his eyes. He's telling the truth. He's scared, but he never broke eye contact. You're gonna have to kill him now. What? He can identify you. Do it now. Don't overthink this. Wait, 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 no! Yep. 
That's what blood and brains look like. Take a picture. Short as the price on his head. And grab his phone. We gotta be ready to attack the moment the text come through. Time to come back. We got a lot of work to do. is taking you so long we don't know where he is this entire auction is going to implode if you can't figure out the found him i guess the apartment ambush wasn't a complete failure in massachusetts he goes by the alias of mark vorhe or vorhe cctv captured him parking and walking into the apartment building where's the car registered it's close good Thank God somebody knows what the fuck they're doing. Why are you still standing here? Go. control it. <clears throat> it's never happened to me before. A hundred thousand for your first kill. Not too shabby. I want to make sure I clarify something. Liam? He's a stone-cold killer not to be fucked with. He would kill four or five people. And two hours later, we sit and eat dinner and he's laughing like nothing ever happened. Fucking nuts. I remember back my first kill in the CIA. It wasn't the kill that kept me up at night. It was the sound of his fractured skull. That shit plays in my mind over and over and over again. But you'll get numb to it. So it gets easier? No. And that's why I live in the middle of nowhere. I find peace in isolation. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? To kill the untouchables. Yeah. We're in a league of our own. a lot of money for you motherfuckers. Don't make me look bad. Don't send your men in unless I say so. Team's in position. Breach. 
Sam, get down! First team is down. I told you not to make me look stupid. Send second team. Send them now, goddammit! They say there's another one. Someone else in the house. It can take an agonizing 30 minutes to bleed out from the stab to the belly. <laughs> Have fun bleeding out, asshole.
You go. I need an extraction to Hugo's house now. Echo Sierra, heading inbound for attack intercept. Zero, two, three, four, information. ETA, 19 minutes. Repeat, ETA, 19 minutes. Fuck. Hang in there. Hospital. He's lost a lot of blood. It's not looking great. Tell me you've not been out there looking for Miro on your own. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make up for my mistake. It's not your fault. You guys were outnumbered. I took you by surprise. Hell, you were lucky to get out of there with your life. This mission was doomed from the beginning. It's time to come home, regroup. I called it off. Hugo's gone. And they know about all of our agents in the system, including you. But the auction's tomorrow. We have no idea where. You'd be going in blind. But it's too dangerous. We have to. Our best bet is to use our internal intel network to track and see who's buying Neely. Hopefully, they don't kill him, and we can start over from there. We have to get Miro. Miro was never the target. But we have to get him. It's not your responsibility. Sam, did a nice job for your first time out. But I'm going to be straight with you. You weren't ready. Yeah, yeah, you're, uh... You're right. It wasn't what I thought. It's messy and ruthless and completely terrifying. But, um... I know that now, and if you give me this chance, I'll take care of it. They know we're coming. If they suspect anything wrong, they'll move Neely, or they'll kill him. Then there goes all that intel right out the window. But they're not going to kill him because they need the money. You don't know that. But so what? You're fine with Hugo dying for nothing? Sam, I appreciate that you've learned a great deal on this mission. But it's over. I've already sent a car for you. You know we've been tracking you this whole time. No, I'm staying. I'm not asking, Sam. That's an order. You get your ass back to HQ. I can get the mirror. Son, you're not listening. That is not possible at this time. Whatever happened? To taking down the untouchables. Goodbye, Sam. Jeez, that was brutal. Sometimes necessary. You think he's going to go for it anyway? We'll see. Last time you took a shower. Christ. Took a shower? I've been stuck in a fucking dog cage. He stinks. Can we get him cleaned up? Please? Of course. Anything specific you want him to wear for the auction? Uh, well, for the price that's on his head, I think we should put him in something nice. Maybe a tuxedo. Yes, sir. And, uh, Daisy, wait. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's put a whistle around his neck. I'm on it. How about that? Oh, yeah, they're gonna eat that shit up. Eat it up. <laughs> I love it. The genius. Well. Hugo is dead. Good. There was another man. It was probably his controller. He wasn't much of a fighter, and he ran away. 
got away. Uh, on your watch. By the time he lets the collective know and they find a replacement and ship him out, we'll be long gone. How many men did you lose? A lot. Can you get more? Of course. Good. I need more. Okay. Do you want me to go after him? No, I don't. I want you here for the auction. Double the security. And Nikita, if you see anyone acting suspicious, just please just take them out. Understood. Gotcha. Well, I see you don't have a date, young man. Would you like to borrow one? What? Would you like to borrow one? I'll go with the redhead, but don't let me influence you. <laughs> I don't need a date, thank you. Because I was uh, planning on purchasing one myself. <laughs> this guy. Hey, man, Terrence Madsen. What's your name, my friend? George Lee. Lee? Well, I think I heard of you. Oil, right? Among other things. Name? George Lee. George Lee. I got you. Welcome. Name? Terrence Matson, but you can call me anytime. Wait. In your ear, what is that? Uh, it's my hearing aid. Hearing aid. Is she giving you a hard time, George? I don't know. Listen, I know him. He's cool. All right, I'm sorry. You can never be too careful. Enjoy your time, Mr. Lee. I will. Thank you. Now, where were we?
George, you sitting with us or what? Yes, of course. Well, let's go then. So is this your first time on one of these? No, it's not. You? Well, I've been twice, obviously. <laughs> Still haven't seen you around? Who do you know here? I was, uh, I was in business with Barry Vanderstrom. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You know, I really didn't know him very well. Yeah, it's okay. No, 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 no. It's fucked up how they got him in the league. You must be pissed at Neely, huh? Yeah. You thinking of buying him? If the price is right. I should introduce you to Miro. No, that's not necessary. No, 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 listen. I mean, you were close with Barry after all. I... And that's not a problem. Come on. <laughs> that's a great shot tonight. You're killing me. Sir. <laughs> yes, what? Yes. Terrence Madsen. I had bought some of your finest. Madsen, Madsen, I remember you, Madsen. Good to see you. So how are you? How are they? They have never been better. <laughs> this here's my friend, George Lee. Yes. Mr. George, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, I was a, a friend of Barry Vanishram's. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm terrible with faces, but, um, yeah. It's good to see you. George is thinking of buying the whistleblower. Oh. Well, why don't you say so, Jesus Christ? Well, that's, that's interesting. You yeah, won't be cheap. I'll manage. I hope you do. I'm gonna keep an eye out for you, Mr. Mr. Lee. I will not forget that again. Welcome. Welcome. Enjoy yourselves. Everything's on the house, buddy. <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> Show's about to start, Lee, so... You can head back without me. I'll uh, catch up in a second. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're so happy you all came tonight. I know you came from far and wide. We have some old faces, some new. And it's great to see you. We have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's a very exciting night, very exciting. I know most of you are here to see the whistleblower. <laughs> yes, but I promise you we have many, many terrific offerings tonight, and you're gonna have a wonderful time. Hey, great to see you there, Gwen. Nice to see you, she's back.
Let us begin. We have a terrific young gal from Lincoln, Nebraska. Let's take a look at this young lady. Don't let her looks fool you. She's a terrific, very hard worker. Very hard worker. She's a very, very smart woman, works very, very hard, and makes a mean casserole. <laughs> the starting bid tonight begins at 500,000. Can I see five? I see five. Do I see five? Do I see I see five? I'm gonna be five, I'm gonna five, I'm gonna five. I see six. Do we see six? Do we see six? <laughs> I see seven, I got seven, I got seven over here, seven over here. We see seven, five, oh, seven, five, oh, seven, five, oh, seven out. We have seven, five, do we have eight? Do I see eight? Do I see eight? Do I see soul? To our gentleman right here in the front row. Soul, ladies and gentlemen, our first row. I'm in the wrong room. I'm gonna go right here. Said the bathroom's back that way. Oh, it's that way. Well, that guy said it was this. Way. One million nine hundred. Look at the two. Look at the two. Give me the two. Give me the two. Give me the two. Do we see a two? Give me a two million dollars. A two million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. So, so, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. you have left. Three. There's four of them. You know what you gotta do. Pistol puppet? Pistol puppet. Just you. Disappointing. Was that the knife girl? Stay back. Oh, shit. Or what? If you had any bullets, you would have shot me already. Move. Move! I worked too hard to have you fuck this up. Nikita? You have this covered? Yep. 
Keep him alive. Mira will want to speak with him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The lovely Daisy will present to you our next offering. He is Mr. Christopher Neely, the whistleblower himself. Yes, here he is in the flesh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is your big moment, young man. Take it all in, take it all in. He is here in the flesh. Who are you? Huh? Sam Alexander, and I'm with the collection. Now say, have fun bleeding out. Huh? What? Just say it. Have fun bleeding out. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin at $50 million for this dashing, young, handsome man. Ladies and gentlemen, do I see 50? Do I see 50, 50, 50? Oh, 50, 50 million, 50 million, give me the one. I see 50, give me the 50, give me the 50. What are you doing now? Getting back up. Go raise some hell. So what's your plan? Just run out there and start shooting? It's called an ambush, and it works. One fifty, ladies and gentlemen, one hundred and fifty million in July here, too. Give it a two, give it a two. Look for two, look for two. Look for two million. Blow the damn whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, you goddamn celebrants. Whoa, well, give it two, give it two, two million. Blow it, motherfucker. You blow it, son of a bitch. Blow the goddamn whistle. Ah! Million, 200 million going once, going twice, a 200 million dollar! Yeah. 
Sounds like you got him. Is he... Is he dead? I, uh, hope that's sarcasm. Dead. Dead. Super dead. What about the target? Safe and sound. I mean, it's a lot of information. And it's very, very good. We should have the full list together by the end of the month. Nice. What about Merrill? Well, now. That's well done. Thank you. Still plenty of work to do around here. Sam, what did I tell you about grenades? You blew up my motherfucking house, Sam. Yeah. <sighs> Relax, Hugo. You can always buy another house. We'll talk about that a little bit more before our next mission. Yeah? <laughs> it happens. 